Matt here with another pickup video, uh, quite an eclectic mix of pickups. Um, went t uh, town today, we actually went to two towns, um, to have a look and see what PSP games are about. Picking up PSP, so I've got a bunch of them and a bunch of other things, and I thought I might as well do it all in this video. Let's start with the PSP games, we've got one, we got got um, Motorstorm, um, Arctic Edge, I was going to call it Pacific something then. Uh, yeah, played a little bit of actually that today. Looks really good still. It does look like a PS2 game, but you know, a late one, you know, on the um, PSP, really good. Box manual, nice art in the back again. Um, yeah, that was three quid. I'm um, not really big into racing games, but I thought for three quid, you know, um, exclusive to the console. Um, it's also on PS2 actually. Um, watched a couple of videos of Metal Jesus. Um, his PSP collection racing games look really uh, actually really good on the um, system it seems so I thought I'd pick that up I got another one here that was also three quid and that's Metal Gear Acid I was going to say solid then that's the like turn based um, card one basically you move snake using um, cards you can, uh, collect during the game again it's got the manual it's also got this little book that shows you all the cards that you can get during the game um, for instance, so you can see all the different cards and stuff like that, it's not being marked, so that's really cool. Uh, it's got, you know, nice art at the back and stuff like that, so it's really good. Again, three quid, really cheap. Um, so it gives me um, that and Portable Arts and Portable Arts Plus, so I need to pick up Acid 2, Graphic Novel and Peace Walker. Peace Walker, I really want to get on PSP. Uh, download it on Vita, uh, change the controls so you can use the stick and like the camera still seems really off off um, so I don't really think you know try it on these um, you know native console bad PSP and see how I get on with that because it's supposed to be a really good Metal Gear if not try to get the HD version at some point in some way next I don't really know what they are they were just really cheap you got this one it's called Kazu Kazuka or something like that. It's it looked on the back. It looked like a bit like Fusion Frenzy or um, You know WarioWare and stuff like that, 3d graphics now I looked up reviews since and it's like you're it giving it like two at two out of tens and three out of tens But it was a pound um, I thought for a pound and what it is and it's got a um, See-through UMD Which I thought was quite uh, interesting. It's got the manual and everything no cool back room now, it's just a plain white one. I was just thinking if there's any other games that have got different coloured, um, you know, UMDs and stuff. Like, I don't know if, like, Fair Birthday Special Editions, like Red or something. Um, so, if anyone knows about any different coloured UMDs, that'd be quite cool. But yeah, that was a pound, a four for a pound. I'll take a chance. And that's basically the same with this as well PQ. Um, again, I think that was one pound fifty, or the other one was one fifty. This pound. On the back of it, it looks like um, it's supposed to be like a puzzle game, testing your IQ and stuff like that. But on the back of it, it sh looks like basically Metal Gear VR missions and in, like Red sort of like graphical style. So when I saw on the back and I saw that, I, you know, I was just looking through the lot of PSP games, seeing how much stuff was and that. And so that was a um, quid or quid fifty. Thought I'll give that a chance. Um, yeah, they had those more Vita, um, Vita games, um, PSP games there. Some of them were like their boxes are really ropey and stuff. Um, there's some like really good ones. There's a couple good ones, but they were like platinum, like the God of War and the. Oh, I can't remember what else. There's like Breath Monster Hunter and that, but like the platinum or essential versions and stuff. Like, don't really like picking those sort of things up. I like to have the uh, original release. Also, PQ, I saw it later on in the day and had a blue box, not a white box. Um, so I don't know why that was different, so I presume different regions, all the box seems to be in English. So now I picked that up, so that's all the PSP games I did get, there's like 8 quid for 4 games, you know, it's not bad, one's a Metal Gear game, uh, one's a you know, racing game, Motor Storm, hopefully pick up uh, more PSP games. That's sort of my um, plan now, like, uh, go, because they had other games I like the look of, it's just like I said, um, how many do you get, some of the boxes were a bit damaged, you could clean them up when you're home, so next time I go there I might um, see how many I can get for like a tenner or whatever and try to build up the collection like that um, yes yeah, so that's really good and then I got a few other bits I picked up during the day I picked this up from CEX Sonic uh, Gem Collection um, it has got a bit of damage on the box when I noticed afterwards they had their we buy sticker or something over it so you can't really tell um, 
the name is a bit not great on this. It's called Sonic's Gem Collection, and you look at the games that's on it. It's Sonic CD, which is an absolute gem. That is um, true. Which is possibly even arguably the best Sonic game. Pop, um, you know, I'm a fan of the Neo Geo Pocket One. Um, some like Sonic uh, 2 because it was like their first one, free, free knuckles, but you know, it's like that sort of era. Then the other games like Sonic the Fighters, that's not good. Sonic R, that is not good. And then you got like all the Game Gear games, which aren't bad, but they, but like the Tales ones, um, they actually got really good at art, art, like, art style, but all the games seem a bit off. Like Sonic CD, even though it's showing you the, on the back of it, say your CD, um, you know, like the uh, case and stuff is like a big blue one, and it's um, not a case I've seen. It must be um, yeah, it's a Sega CD. Well, obviously it's the Mega CD here, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it? In the small, smaller cases, um, they all run a bit off, and that's like the PC version, I believe, that was ported over to the GameCube and PS2 is on PC, not the original. Um, so I don't know if like that, and then you play like the Game Gear games, they seem like really slow, like uh, frame rate issues and that, and like the stick for the GameCube for these two day games don't really work that well and the uh, D pad's not great. But yeah, um so I picked that up because I've got um looking at my GameCube collection right next to me and I've got like Adventure DX, Adventure Two Battles, Sonic Heroes, Mega Collections, and I got this. And I also got Shadow the Hedgehog somewhere. Um yeah, so I got nearly all the Sonic games on GameCube. I think it might be the Gravity um, racing game one. Sonic's actually had a load of racing games and um, some of them be dreadful like are uh, but I'm glad that they continue doing them because the transformed one on the Wii U and um, you know came to other really it was a really good game. So hopefully we'll see more Sonic racing games in the future because they were actually really good. So I got that, that was twelve quid. I thought that was for having not bad. It's got the manual. I'm trying to find that one for ages to go into the collection. Um, then I got a few things that aren't games. Well one's game me related. And that is Persona 4, the animation, and that's the Blu-ray and DVD together. Um yeah, I was just looking at the anime section, HMV. Anime is sort of weird. I've never really watched it, but I know about some of it, and I've seen a few things. And I was just, I was just in there. There was a sale on, so I thought, I'd have a look. This is forty-five quid, which is a lot of money. But if you look on Amazon, and you're looking even on eBay, the complete sets are going for like sixty odd quid. So it's really cheap, considering what it has been going for. It was the only one they had there. No other Persona thing. Um, I think the Blu-ray only comes with the DVD. You can buy the DVD on its own, but you can't buy the Blu-ray on its own. Something like that. We can buy like the individual discs. It's kind of weird. But I thought that was going. Um, if you watch the Pod of War, or if you've seen me on PSN or whatever, or me checking out my Twitter, I've been talking about Persona Five a lot. Been playing that quite a bit. I really enjoyed what I've played before. I'm about 30, 40 hours in. I'm not 100 sure, percent sure. From something like the sixth dungeon. And I got sort of stuck, and then I figured out, ah, you got to go back and stuff like that, and find something. I've never been bothered to go back and uh, do it, um, so I really actually want to know how the game finishes. Uh, so it's kind of a cop out, and I kind of cheat by watching this anime. Obviously, this before this is for anim the animation, not Golden. Golden adds um, uh, Marie in um, and stuff like that, but don't know if it gets like the, it's more about her and like you know. The ending of uh, you know how her story than the actual main thing like who done it so it is a bit of cop out but people watch watch plays so you know like complete games and stuff like that and don't finish it it's many things like telltale games and stuff like that and people do that quite often because they can get the story and from uh watching it by thought of getting you know get it thought at that price when i seen how much it's going elsewhere it must have just you know they had an odd one kicking around sort of thing uh, you know, HMV, RRP and stuff like that, so it's um hasn't really gone up in there, but I doubt they'll get another one in, so that's really cool. Um, and while I was in HMV, I also picked this up at the counter. It's a Catfish and the Bottle Men, um, I can't remember what this album's called, The Ride, on uh, vinyl. i open this up here. So you've got like all these notes and stuff, so that's quite cool. Um, it was eight ninety nine. H um, they've done this before. HMV, um, they have their pure cards. We can get like double points on vinyl. I've totally forgot to use my pure card for months and months, and I got a load of vinyl that I got from um, got from them. It's because when they went all out of business and stuff, I just chucked it in like my old wallet or something, and then totally forgot to um 
get it back out. It was only um, was that countless one by final um, um one of the girls in there was like, you could have got double points for this. And then like the week later, I forgot, and they had I think it's Amy Winehouse's vinyl, uh, the one with her actually on the front, like in the blue, for like eight ninety nine if you're a HMV Pure member. So they seem to be doing this. They seem to be giving rewards for Pure members that buy vinyl. Um, it seems to be a thing they're getting behind. So they had that eight ninety nine, and this was eight ninety nine. It's supposed to be twenty three ninety nine normally. Um, they got a sale on vinyl as well. I was tempted by a couple of other things, but I thought for this price, I was at the till anywhere. I thought I'd get it. I have worked for a few of their songs. I'm not a huge Catfish and Bottle um, Man fan, but some of them have um, songs are quite good. So I'm hoping they continue doing that HMV and maybe, I don't know, I don't know how often it changed because I've only seen the two in a couple of months, but unless I missed um, whatever else they were doing. Um, but if they do one like once a month or every two months, they do. Um, you know, vinyl one offer or something. That's yeah, that's cool. So that's good. So I got some. I got a vinyl. I got anime and I got retro video games. And then I've got a book. Yes. Um. If you know me, I don't do much uh, reading at all. Um. You might be even see there is the um. I was gonna say game Game of Thrones. Let's just say Game of Thrones. The Song of Fire. The Ice um set. I got that for Christmas. It's still sealed. I was gonna give it a read, but there's like loads there. Um to read them like oh, am I ever gonna read them I doubt it um but I actually got George Orwell's 1984 here um the reason I actually got this is actually quite straight it's due to video games um big fan oh, I can't Metal Gear uh, big fan of Metal Gear a uh, big fan of Kojima and his games and this book as far as I'm aware is a big influence to him it's even 1984 is even referenced in Phantom Pain because Phantom Pain is actually takes place in 1984 um, so that's actually is actually referenced a couple, um, not a couple of times, but definitely at one point in the game, two hard guards are talking about it, and a guard brings up the book and stuff. So Kijimis even put it into his games about about it, and I thought I'd you know give it a read. It's not that long. It's there's a few other bits on stuff like that about all, all well and stuff in here, but I think it's like 300 pages, so much much shorter than any of the Game of Thrones uh, books up there. So yeah, really eclectic uh, mix of stuff. Um, all sort, you know, most of it is video game related. Like I said, even the book is. It's pretty much only the vinyl that isn't. And that's only due to the price. Like what I picked that up, going in the vinyl collection. Um, yeah, so hopefully I get to do more pick up videos and stuff like that. Um, like I'm doing stuff in the Indian Switch Euro again, like I was saying, I'll bring that up, I'll put the script, um, link in the description so you can kind of switch off of that. Hopefully, um, I might sort out the camera at some point, um, capture the device, um, so that I can also, sh uh, obviously, stream on the PS4, so can't, unfortunately, stream Persona 4 after a certain point, and that, and I just, uh, Persona 4, I mean, Persona 5, so I'm not even gonna, um, you know, do that at all, sort of thing. But hopefully I can bring you more stuff or stuff like this, like you know, show you my collection, talk about maybe um what's in the collection and things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.